Hi Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on for Aries? On my mind, let me flip these around, they're upside down. I'm holding them upside down. On my mind, we also have divine timing and can't let go. Someone is obsessing. I feel like they're wasting a lot of time thinking about the situation with you or like instead they could be taking action, they could be doing something. Let me do one more. Soulmate. This person's thinking that you're a soulmate, that they should be with you, they should be together with you or something like that. They can't let go. But I feel like they're not taking action for some reason. I don't know why, but let me see. What is going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sabotage, rebuild, persistent, working on it and repairing. Okay, hammer. All right, what is going on for Aries with this person? Overall energy, this person is feeling out in the cold. On their mind is you, just like the card says. You're on their mind, Aries. How they feel about you, the situation with you. Ace of Coin, they want a new beginning. They want to start over. They want something solid. Um, how you're coming across, how you're coming across to them. The wheel. So things are changing for you. Like you're moving forward with or without them. You're making changes. Potential outcome at this moment is the moon. So it's unknown. It's unclear. Could be a Pisces, but I feel like right now it's like this person's very emotional. They could possibly water sign Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they're like letting their emotions run the show or run them and without, you know, I feel like they're not taking action. Okay, what is going on here? What is this five of coins? How they feel? Nine of coins. Lovers. This person may try to, um, like if you're around this person, say you see them. They may get dressed up. They may try to impress you. They may try to look good um, for you. They could be a Gemini, but this person, what's on their mind is that the two of you should be together. We have a lover's card right here. For some of you, you could be experiencing a glow up, but maybe you already did. This overall energy can be you or them. So it actually shows me that possibly some of you could be coming into some money. Um, if you have been feeling out in the cold, things could be getting better for you. But what is this ace of coin for what they want? Nine of wands. They're not ready to give up on this connection with you. But yet again, I don't know. I feel like there's not a lot of action on their part. Nine of wands is kind of like feeling, you know, wounded, feeling tired, um, not wanting to give up, but not really, you know, taking a moment, taking a break right here. So I don't know if this is someone, maybe, okay, I'm kind of getting that maybe the two of you, like, you moved ahead, you pursued something else, you've been working on yourself or working on your money or some, something like that, your job or career. I feel like there was an opportunity here for you, the two of you, but they may have sabotaged it. One of you may have gotten angry at the other person as well. Maybe there wasn't a big argument or fight and they don't want to give up on this. So for some of you, this person is just taking a moment to themselves. They still love you. They want to work on this with a hammer card, but they just... Um, need a moment here to like think things through with the nine of wands but they see you as like rolling forward you're you're just moving you're moving on you're doing good things what is this wheel of fortune hang on what is this oh my goodness five of swords i think yeah i'm gonna definitely i feel like you have been on a good path or you're going on a good path things could be moving forward for you suddenly you may be feeling out in the cold right now but that could change okay because if i look at it this way it's about something coming to fruition for you around your money, around your home, around something tangible, ace of coins. So follow your intuition right now. If there's a possibility or an opportunity to do something new, to take a chance, to you know start something, go for it, because it's gonna work out well for you. So I'm kind of getting here. Um, I do kind of feel like I have to say this, that this person is a little bit jealous of your success or they will be jealous of your success. Not in a hateful way, not in a spiteful way, I don't think. Though they, though they do have the hammer card, they could. But I kind of feel like they want you to depend on them more. They want you to rely on them. They want you to need them, something like that. And like, you're just not that way. You're very confident is what I'm getting. What is this moon energy? I feel like it's like unknown right now with this person, with what could happen between the two of you because you guys are both kind of on different paths right now. What is this moon energy? Judgment, one more please. Ace of Swords. Well, this is good. This is at least speaking the truth, whether it's you or them. Page of Coin. This person may even apologize with that being under the deck. Let me see, oh my God, what they would say to you. 
come here. I feel like this person is a little bit messy right now, a little bit sloppy, a little bit, you know, in their emotions. And again, maybe trying to make you jealous, possibly. Maybe, oh my goodness, they may text. What is going on? What would this person say to you? I'm sorry, I didn't know how to love you. Oh, okay. So maybe you don't feel loved by this person. You don't feel like this person is genuine or shows interest. They sab maybe they sabotaged it. So maybe this has to do more with like what they did wrong than what they aren't doing. They just, okay, what, it, what else do they want to say? I still have hope we can work this out. Yep, I'm definitely getting up the nine of wands. They haven't given up on this. I don't know how you feel, Aries. You may have given up on this. I don't feel like you really are invested in this person. I get triggered at the thought of you. Okay, so this is an issue here too because I got something about them having like a temper, getting angry. Um, so I don't know if they get triggered that you're doing so well and you're not needing them anymore or that you're successful or why they're getting so triggered. I don't know. I don't know if you're triggering them on purpose or just, you know, person has a, a temper or they're jealous and I'm not, ugh, I'm not ready to open up. Well, that's an issue because you know what? They need to get a move on. I feel like, I feel like they will be soon or you are going to open up and say something to them because Ace of Swords to me is a message. It's communication. Now, again, this can be changed. The outcome can be changed. It can mean that you decide not to talk to them, but what are they going to do if you don't reach out? What are they going to do if you don't reach out? Eight of Swords, not make a move, but the Two of Cups is under there. What should Aries do? What should Aries do? Be the King of Swords. So whether you're man, woman, whatever, you're coming, I'm not surprised because you are Aries. You are the Emperor, but you have passion in it here. So you're not going to beat around the bush is what I'm getting. Either you're going to just drop this right now and just focus on you, or you are going to speak your mind and just say, hey, what are you doing? What's going on here in this connection? I do feel like though this person loves you on my mind, can't let go, soulmate, divine timing. Turn that off. Because I feel as, as your energy kind of ramps up and maybe you kind of like either get pissed off at this person on the back burner, you don't care as much. Um, they care more. They actually feel kind of sad to lose you. They are sad to lose you. I should say they are sad to lose you, but I feel like you're kind of, if you're not on a new path right now, you, something new is opening up for you or something is changing. Cause I see a change here for you where you are more, you guys are always confident usually, but you're more confident. Something's coming in here that you're working on or you're, uh, focused on. What does Aries need to know? Anything out of this deck? No, nothing. Nothing's really flying out. Aries. Yeah. Crown. I know it. I could feel it for you guys. Something about success, pride, wearing a crown, some sort of opportunity being recognized, um, having some, some sort of success, Aries. It's not this person doesn't want, to be happy, doesn't want you to be happy. They just, they want to feel like you need them. But I don't know, I feel like maybe in the past they kind of left you out in the cold or on the back burner or something like that. And now you've overcome that and you're feeling more confident or better about yourself. What is this nine of wands here? What are they going to do? Four of wands, rebuilding, king of cups, going into their emotions. Like I said, they could be a water sign and working things out with the three of coins. Okay. Well, this is good energy. This is them wanting to repair this or rebuild this or fix this. Question is, is do you want to Aries? What does Aries need to know? breathe, just breathe. So some of you may be kind of pissed off at this person and just not wanting to interact with them right now. You may just want to like, take a, take a moment, take the four swords, not do anything. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to pick up on what's coming in for you. Cause there's something here coming in for you. Like I said, I saw the strength and justice too, just now it's interesting being strong. Okay. What's coming in for Aries? Four of Wands. It could be a new beginning with this person. I don't know if they are also your twin flame moving towards a new beginning. Some of you could be moving. Again, the Queen of Swords energy. Wow, you guys are working on your money. Like I said, your money is looking good. Some of you may have a new partner at your job or work or partner with someone. Some of you also may be dating somebody else or meeting somebody else, whether at your workplace or a neighbor or something like that. Some of you have other things going on that you're not even telling this person about. 
you definitely seem to be taking a different path. So I could see that here as well. You're moving on a different path. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, I think is you as well. Three of Cups, having a good time. I feel like maybe you're going to meet someone who may be a casual acquaintance, someone that you may go out and have drinks with or have a good time with, whether it's dating or just casual or friendship or something like that, a relate, like a, what is it, situationship. You're also maybe thinking about moving. Some of you may decide to be single and, and again, decide not to deal with this person and they may get pissed off with that. But I see you kind of going down this path of just wanting to be free and just wanting to do your own thing, possibly thinking about moving to a different state or country as well. I'm kind of getting you may move for love in the future. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a good idea. It's just it's kind of showing up that you may come up with this idea to just move on a whim or you're thinking about moving. But it looks like it's for love. It doesn't look like it's for like work or something. So it could just be something that's passing in your mind whether you do it or not. Now, some of you are going to meet somebody that you're really attracted to. And I don't think it's this person. I'm feeling that there's someone who's around you or coming in, Aries, who like the chemistry between the two of you is just off the chart and maybe not be something long term. I'm also getting some of you could meet like a sugar daddy, sugar mama, or somebody who doesn't have to necessarily be older than you or anything, but has a lot of money and there's some sort of like fun times to have between the two of you, the devil, ton of coins, knight of wands. Or you're the sugar mama or daddy or something. But this is somebody else I'm getting, not this person we start out with. So these are just some things showing up in your life that are coming in. I feel like this person also, this came out as you initially, but I also feel like this person could be kind of pissed off or cold in the future with you when they find this out. I feel like this person doesn't put in the effort or didn't, and you don't really want to give this another chance. So just, a, excuse me, some random things coming in about you or the situation. Let me pull one more card from... Because if this person gets triggered, if they're not ready to open up, if they, um, I got some about having a hangover, I don't know why that came in my mind all of a sudden, but they want to work this out, but they say they don't know how to love you. So I don't know if that's going to change. Like maybe they're just not very romantic and you're looking for that romance. You're looking for that good time, that fun. In fact, they, they're all about work or business. Communication. It says a reunion can bring love or a kindling of a friendship. A lucky win seems likely. I also get like just having fun coming up here. Not having, not being so serious about everything. Twist and turns. So some of your carefully made plans, Aries, could be thrown out the window. There could be some sort of major change or interruption. I get it's a person um, that comes in. Make sure you get lots of rest and cope with the upheaval. It's going to be a good upheaval, but also for some of you, don't make any like crazy rash decisions to move to a different state or country just because of a person who like really catches your eye. I think you might regret that. But again, if you're looking for something fun, you have the time or money, then go for it. But otherwise, all right, I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Have a great week, you guys.